everybody, welcome back. We are at Disney's Animal Kingdom today. We are getting a really late start. It's about one o'clock right now. That's okay because we're chilling and it's gonna be a fun time. What are we doing today? We are gonna check out things we haven't yet. So we're gonna go see the tigers. We are gonna eat some food, of course. We are gonna see the Lion King, which I'm very excited for. We're both huge Lion King fans. I'm so excited. I watched the movie like nine times today when I was little. So let's get the day started by seeing the tigers. We're checking out the tiger trek and it's really cool. We got to see some bats already. Yep. They were huge. And the lion tail macaque. What's the fun fact about Well, like I said, they stay up in the trees as most as they can because predators on the ground can't get to them. Right. But they come down, grab their food, stuff it in their cheek pouch, which can hold the same amount as their stomach, and then run back up and eat whatever they feel like. Same as their stomach? That's right. Oh my god. See, that's what I need. I need to get like candy store, just stuff my cheeks with much candy, and then <laughs> and I'm good to go just store it for later. That was a very cool, cool looking monkey. Yeah, very very cool. Cool. The birds are so. Oh my oh, god. It's the bird show. Oh, I, think. I was like, what is that? <laughs> and then we came into the tiger encounter, and she was so cute. So tiny. Tigers are my absolute favorite animal ever. I've been obsessed with them since I was like, I don't know, five. And she was really beautiful. Like, Very cute. She was having the time of her life out She there, really too. was. She looks so comfortable and yep. happy. Yep. I wanted to give her a big hug, although I know that's a bad idea. I know, like my first instinct was just to go up there and be like, oh no, go to face. But you know, I'd probably get eaten, so. And then we have some animals over here. Let's take a look at what Oh, we it's have. these, uh, they are from like from the Lion King. Oh, They're water, water buffalo. buffaloes. Interesting. They are water buffalo. So they have a trail map you can download on your phone when you walk in. With yeah, a it's QR pretty cool. Code, and you can see exactly where all the animals are. Their hooves are very flexible, apparently. It they... allows them to move through water without getting stuck. Okay, I was gonna say, do they travel in water a lot? Well, What's they are the water, water buffaloes, buffalo? right? So that's pretty cool. Oh my God! There's a bunch over here. There's three over on that side. Oh, wow. So I guess they live in herds. <laughs> they do move in herds. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. They do move in herds. <laughs> <laughs> These trails are my favorite part of Animal Kingdom. These are the best. I feel like this park is so underrated because it doesn't have a bunch of thrill rides, yep. but it's so cool to see the animals out. A fun activity they have here at Animal Kingdom is the wilderness explorer bag so we're gonna see if we can pick it up you can pick it up at the front of the park i think you can pick it up at any of these kiosk areas so we're about to find out we'll see i figure it could be fun we could do a couple yeah. each time we come i just like learning <laughs> i just i just want to learn and when we get it done we can go ka ka roar yeah exactly so has anyone been burning before? I have not. You've not been burning. Literally before? never. Never. Have you ever been outside and seen a bird? Well, definitely yes. done that. We just saw You've a been cardinal. Burning. I've been burning. You just saw a cardinal. Yeah. Awesome. You guys want to see another bird? Yes. Do you have you already seen it? It's right up there. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. she did. This is a great horned owl. She's looking right at me. Little chica, right there. The great horned owl. Yep. Yeah. This girl right there. Super oh, pretty. This guy. So this guy is my friend, the Argus pheasant, nicknamed after the Greek god Argus, or uh, meaning God of a Thousand yeah. Eyes, right? Oh yeah. Him. So look. The reason how he gets that name is you see all these little spots? Yeah, yeah. He so these are eyes. eye spots, and he will puff up all of his big feathers at one time, and it'll make him look like he's staring at you. Now, we don't like eyes on us, right? We just saw the female tiger, and then around the corner in here, the male tiger is actually out. Estella is up ahead scouting him out, so we're going to see if we can see the pretty boy. Do you see him there? Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see him way back there, but he's oh. really pretty. Oh, oh look at him. Look at that face. So why tigers? Why, is, why are tigers you think? I think it's just that they're so striking. Like their patterns and just look at their face. Like there's so many colors and lines and I just love them. And I, the, my favorite part though are their ears because they're so small. <laughs> like they don't, you know, like you would think an animal that big would have giant ears. But look at their ears. It's like, they are the cutest. I'm dying. It's like a dog when all you want to do is rub your ears. Like I feel like if I ever got to be with the tiger, that would be the first thing I'd do. Just grab his little ears. We just got done with the tiger track and we're walking by and I just spotted a monkey. Where? Right here. Look at him. Oh, oh they're coming out. Right outside of the tiger track, they have a really awesome shop here. 
that has Asian themed merchandise. That jacket's really pretty. I know, right? Yak and Yeti. Oh, it's for the restaurant. Yeah. That's a really nice jacket. I normally don't like yellow shades of stuff, but this is I a like nice, that mustard like, yellow. Mustard, though. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's like an opaque mustard. Oh, these shorts are really cute. Look at that. Oh, they're so light too. Yeah. Cool. Those are some good there. Florida. That's good today weather I know. shorts. It's hot. I know you it know? is hot today. <laughs> I'm not old, I'm just really wise. That's cute. cute. Ooh, nice hat you got. Thank there. you. Beautiful. Ooh, look at these tea sets. Ooh. You know what this reminds me of? Tea? Reminds me Uncle of Uncle Iroh. Such, yes, it reminds me of the jar that um, oh, Cora, Cora that the first avatar puts uh, Rava into. <laughs> and then with every cup of tea, you can still taste the light. Do you want to see a, a, a real life sloth animation here? Yeah. Okay. He's going to say hi to you. Ready? Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. He's saying hi really slowly. <laughs> Alrighty. We have done the tiger track. What is next on our no line adventure day? I heard there was a petting zoo somewhere and I want to find it and I want to pet some animals. So we're going to go look for the petting zoo. We actually don't know where it is. Um, let's find out. So if you are coming to Animal Kingdom and you want to see all of the animals, make sure to do that earlier in the day because I believe at 4 or 4.30 they do close down um, the animal attractions because they all probably go night night. Yep. So make sure to plan that into your day, start yep. that early and then check out like your rides and shows either later in the day or you can kind of put them in between, but make sure you don't miss out on those experiences you're looking for. What is that? Yeah, so this is going to be our botany badge. Okay. Ooh, yeah, botany. so we're on page 11. What is botany? Study of plants? Yeah, study of plants. I got a cool little box of earth plants here, right? Do you guys know what this one is? Um, it looks like a daisy. Daisy? It is a daisy, yeah. And this one in the middle? Cactus. Cactus. And this funky friend? Venus flag. Venus flytraps. Wow, so Venus flytraps are going to be what's called the carnivorous plant. How many days do you think it takes for a Venus flytrap to eat one bug? Ooh. So seven to ten days. Oh, right. right? Okay. That's like having a chicken nugget in our mouth for seven to ten <laughs> days and just like waiting for it to dissolve. Oh, do you guys know where Venus fly plants grow? Oh, one place in the whole world. But in nature, they grow in North Carolina. Oh my what? God! Is that really? not the craziest thing? That is the right. So like coastal North thing. Carolina. Yeah. Look at that. North Do we have anybody Carolina. from North Carolina? You're very yeah, lucky. Okay. All right, friends, we've earned our botany badge. Yay! You guys having a good day? Yeah. 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 So far, so good. Yay. Learning a lot. That's amazing. That's the whole point. <laughs> Learning so much, fun. Olivia. Have a great day. One. You too. The badges are really fun. They are. I thought I thought they were like a kid thing. Yeah but I didn't realize it was just learning. I thought maybe you had to like find stuff and then write it in these That's booklets. But they teach you, like they teach you new things about plants, about animals, about environments. And I mean, I love learning. I love, I love knowing stuff like that. And it's not something that I actively go out and like learn on my own. So it's great to be here. And that little incentive, this little sticker, which you know, it's a sticker, but it's kind of cool. Something can collect. I love that they gear it towards uh, your age level too. Yep. So as an adult, you can really enjoy it as well. It's yeah. not just for kids. It's really cool. So we are in a Pandora now, which is absolutely beautiful. I love it here. It may be the best part of the park, but not really. But it's really cool at night. Definitely check it out. But Pandora is where the Satuli Canteen is. So yep. let's go grab some lunch. I think our food's ready, so let's go eat. What's really nice is the park isn't too crowded today either. Like we're walking around and there's plenty of space. The front hub area in Discovery Island wasn't crowded either. Um, so it's been a very pleasant day, I do have to say. Up ahead is a really cool area. I love the mech they have out here from the Avatar movie. And then to the left of that, you have the Wind Traders, which we checked out in our last vlog when we were here. So if yeah. you guys haven't checked that vlog yeah, out, cool make sure to give it a watch. They have a lot of neat stuff in there. And then to the right is the Satori Canteen. And this place is really cool. They have delicious food. We did a mobile order. And the decor is really, really cool inside. So you can create your own bowls, which is really neat. There's so many there. And look how neat the decor is. 
I got some food. This is the slow roasted beef bowl at Satuli Canteen. It comes with some delicious rice and beans. And there's a little coleslaw salad with some boba. I've had this before, it was very good. Just as good as last time. I love this bowl. It might be my favorite thing to eat in all of Disney, to be honest. The rice and beans, oh my god. I decided to try something a little different today. I got the crispy tofu, which actually looks really good. And I stayed with the same base, which is the rice and beans. And then I tried this garlic cream sauce last time, which was really good. So let's see how this tofu is. It's pretty good. It could use a little more flavor. On its own, the tofu is honestly not the best. The texture is really good. It just could use more seasoning, in my opinion. But when you mix it with the rest, it's really good. So I'd still recommend it. I'd give it maybe a four out of five. It's not bad, it just needs more, I think. It's not as flavorful as I had the shrimp last time, which was super flavorful. And even your beef seems like it has a bit more, but still really good. Lunch was delicious. Did you enjoy it? I sure did. I probably ate a little too much, but that's okay because I'm about to burn it off. Oh my God, I ate way too much. I felt nauseous. I was, uh, I made a big oopsie of too much food. We are headed to Rafiki's planet to go to the petting zoo finally. We gotta go to Africa first. Yeah. Then from Africa, we're gonna board a train, which is gonna get us all the way out to Rafiki's island where we will find the affection station, which is a petting zoo. But I wanted to let you guys know Gorilla Falls is right here to the right of um, Kilimanjaro Safaris and we did that last time we were here so if you're looking for something fun to do with no line Gorilla Falls is really cool. You loved it right? It was really awesome. The viewing spot for, with all the gorillas was like perfect. And they have a baby out there that's very cute so if you want to see the cutest little baby gorilla you've ever seen in your life it was adorable. Go over to Gorilla Falls. Adorable. All right, here we are. All right, Rafiki's Planet Watch. Open your eyes to the world around you. Let's go pet some animals. affection section and look at all the cute animals oh my goodness i don't know they look like goats of some kind yeah they're really cute i want them i'm gonna name them all oh god i think goats are the cutest but they're also the meanest little creatures ever growing up i had horses and out at my godmother's farm they had two goats uh-huh willie and annie willie willie annie was a sweetheart my mom says I sneeze like her, so every time I sneeze, she calls me Annie. And <laughs> Willie was a big old jerk and would chase me around the barn all the time, trying to ram me, and I swear Freaking he was trying to goat. murder me. That goat was the devil. So there we go. That is your story of Willie and Annie and little Jacqueline who sneezes like right. a goat. So let's go find something to pet over right there. here. This is just the cutest. This is like my dream because I love animals. Because you just want to pet all the animals. I do. Hello. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Look at the pigs. Piggy. It looks like they're usually being Is that a good pickle? Well, they're all just chilling. They have no life over here. They're in the shade. It's They have fans. Here that wants to be fat. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so happy. Oh, she's trying to get away. She's ready for her day. She's like, and bye. <laughs> you gotta you gotta drive by. I did. That was really cute, you all. I love petting all the animals. Now we are gonna get back on the train and head over to Festival of the Lion King and try to catch that before we wrap it up for the day. And now, I present to you His Majesty, 
The Lion King. Welcome, everyone. I know video powers every tinge of are as wet as a whole dog's backside. But thick as you are, pay attention. Lion King was the, I want to say the best show I've seen on Disney. Yeah, better than Fantasmic. It's tied with Fantasmic. They're very different, but Lion King always has a special place in my heart. All of the songs are just so like, so familiar. We know them so well. So there's a lot of nostalgia with the show. I love sure. the jokes they put in. They put little lines from like Timon and Pumbaa from yep. the film into the show as well. Yep. The acrobatics were amazing. Yeah, the I, animatronics were, were really cool. Simba really looked good. so neat and yeah. the elephant and giraffe and Timon and Pumbaa, the outfits. My favorite besides the acrobats for Can You Feel the Love Tonight, I think was the the fire guy. Oh my god, the fire guy. He was his, his skirt thing actually caught on fire a couple times and I guess it just like it's self-extinguishing because it just like went out. I highly recommend it. it Definitely. Don't like you can't come and not. No, it's the coolest thing I've done at Animal Kingdom yet. Yeah? Yeah. Better than the safari? Better than the safari, in my opinion. All right, we have very high praise. I would say we had a very successful no line day. I definitely agree. We had a baby line to get into the Festival of Lion King, but yeah. it was like 20 minutes. Maybe? Yeah, and the nice thing about the shows is you don't have to wait in line. If yeah, you don't you want, to, you can just no. show up right at the we time. We just got there in. like wicked early so we could get nice seats some good seats and yeah. it was so worth it we were in Definitely. the second row which was great um, the tigers were so cute there's so much you can do without like waiting in line or yep. even getting on a ride that's what i love the most about this park i, I feel like that's only true here yeah. this has the most line free stuff that you can do definitely and i know that's not possible for everybody if you're yeah. coming on vacation yeah. and you only of have course. a day in the park yeah. But if you're spending a week and you're taking a couple times to come to Animal Kingdom, spend a day just seeing the animals. It's so worth it. Yeah, absolutely. And the Wilderness Explorers was pretty fun. That is really loud. It really is. <laughs> it's nice though. It is. It is nice. I like the sound. I love that everything is so green here. It is. Like, there's so many wrong, trees. Right? Like, I love Magic Kingdom and yeah, like, the other parts Hollywood because Studios. you get like castles and all these structures. Yeah. And, you know, I like fantasy and stuff like that, but here it's just like real. It is. You know? and, yeah. and that's nice. Like it's countries and culture and yeah. music and it's not yeah. princesses and stuff like that, which is, yeah. I, which I love that yes. as well. Like I'm a huge fan. It's just very But it's different. nice. Yeah. yeah. It's a nice break from the fantasy. Yeah. And to just come here and like learn about the animals yeah. and immerse yourself and in even something with, different. Even with Pandora, you get that sense of fantasy, but it's still very nature. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And with Navi River in there, too, like it's very nature, which yeah. is cool. So, yeah, you all, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. We thank had a blast. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you. And if you guys enjoyed hanging out with us, Make sure to check out our video of last time we were at Animal Kingdom. We did a lot of rides and some of the other trails we didn't do today. So make sure to hang out with us there. And we will catch you next time.